In this lesson, we will see how to patch a SharePoint list which has a column uh, which is a choice and it's a multi-select choice. So this is the list. The name of the list is for choice. It has a title, a single line of text. It has a color which is a, a choice and it has uh, multiple options and here it says allow multiple selections only then it's a multi select choice field so we have to see how we can patch uh, this uh, list so first we will create uh, a, a canvas app we'll insert a, a combo box or you can even pick a list box either one so combo box and uh, but before that we will put add our data connection here uh, SharePoint communication site and for choice connect so for this for items we will say choices the name of the data source is for choice for choice dot color so let's see what happens when we run this we get all the colors here so the values which were here uh, they got populated in this drop down so after this we will insert a button and on the click of this button we will patch I have got the patch code here I will take it instead of spending time in typing it out I will just paste the course code here and I'll explain so combo one dot selected items so there could be multiple items so I create this collection in the previous lesson we have seen that we created only this only for one value but now we have to prepare it for multiple values so for all combo one item combo box one dot selected item for all of these so that if there are two then this loop will run two times if you chose three items it will run three times it will create a collection it is a temporary collection which holds the uh, name uh, value pair for this uh, combo box uh, selected items and then we, we patch this this is the, our data source or the connection we pass this with the title you can we can make this from come we can make this come from a text input and this is the collection which is the from the combo box so let's see if we can delete this and if we can delete and run it uh, delete okay so we take this code here there is no uh, surprises so I select blue I select green and I click the pass button so it should have title test with blue and green now I will uh, remove green I'll put red so blue and red we pass this again test with oh it saved all values because we didn't clear it we didn't clear the uh, a selection so this is what uh, we got but if we uh, uh, you know if we clear the collection then uh, we can uh, we should be able to get only the selected values so what I mean to say is when you do this you see the collection has four values so before a uh, small code change is to be done we need to uh, uh, do this uh, clear collect clear collect and this now when we run this oh we cannot do a clear collect so we need to uh, to do the a clear uh, for 
the collection here and um, this is the name of the collection we need to add this line and now when we run this we will clear all this we'll select green black we run this we get green black uh, when we uh, blue and green green blue we run it and we refresh it green blue so we i forgot to add that code to clear this uh, collection and then uh, redo it so basically this is a an example showing how you can patch a a, a sharepoint list which has a column which is a uh, a choice column with multi select option enabled so you can support multiple choice and we have a combo box and a button to fire the patch so once again the code we uh, we loop through all the selected items and create this collection we use this collection to patch our uh, uh, list and uh, you know this is the tit title that's it